Welcome back to The Gloves Are Off. We are going to continue on with our Bobcats or Bust special edition of the show. And the focus of this next segment is to hash out some of the details of this new team and the new plan. And I think what a lot of people at home are probably sitting there wondering is, all right, we've got this new ownership model in place. We've got the new support model in place. But what is going to be different? What else can I buy into and believe in? So, Brian, what is going to change as far as, or for maybe what you've seen and what the friends of the Bobcats have presented to you, as far as running this team so that we're not in this situation two or three years from now? Well, I think the first blunt answer would be we don't want the product to be like it was last okay. several years. And that's sort of your concern is the product on the, the ice. The product has to be a good mm -hmm. product in order for people want to see winning team. That's okay. bottom line mm -hmm. and that doesn't matter what community we're in. I've been in small communities my, a lot of my life and they want to see a winning team. So product is number one okay. and, and they want to believe that I'm going to go out there and do that job. And then Jeff, maybe from a marketing or a, a business perspective from what you have seen, what is going to prevent a cash call before next season starts? Well, whether we like it or not, you know, when Wayne got involved and Russ Wakeham got involved, they were already 200 and some thousand dollars chasing their tail, mm -hmm. right? So they, they cleared up some debts. And we can't hide that fact. And, we're and, being honest about it. You know, they cleared up some debts when they took over. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they, they were running hard right away. But there was an absence of a business plan. Okay. You know, they were running the team, doing everything they could. There was an absence of a business plan with measurable goals. There, you know, once Mark Hallam moved away, um, you know, he was some of that glue too, and he, he went on to, you know, to do good things based on what he learned okay. here. But it was hard to see a business plan because they were busy uh, oftentimes because the product wasn't where it needed to be. Uh, it was difficult for them to put a sound business plan in place. Today, you're going to have some business people come together, community leaders. They're going to make a solid business plan. They're going to execute that business plan. And, uh, you know, we have a buffer. If we get 800 season tickets, uh, they have a buffer that will help them get through that first year and get the momentum okay. required. The other side of this new plan, which we hit on um, a little bit here at NewCap, is the mentorship opportunity that exists with the Edmonton Oil Kings um, and even some involvement with the Edmonton Oilers. Because, Jeff, you did make a pitch to the Oil Kings to maybe step up and purchase this team. And what we know is because of the Canadian Junior Hockey rules, there are rules in place that prevent them from owning uh, another junior team. But let's talk about that mentorship role and how that could benefit the team. Well, I think that from my perspective, and I know Jeff went out and, and made all these calls and everything, mm -hmm. and now Derek Laxton, who's the coach of the Oil Kings, is a friend of mine, and we played together a long time ago. So I certainly would like to sit down with Derek, but there, there's gonna have to be some pretty strong dialogue with them because I know that the ex-coach of the Spruce Grove Saints still has a huge tie with Spruce Grove, mm -hmm. and he's the assistant coach for the Oil Kings. So having as much uh, avenues as possible to get the best players is a good thing, a real good thing. So we're talking about player personnel? Marketing, and they, they want to send, Jeff will talk to a little okay. bit about that. And some, they want some of their younger What about people. coaching staff? Um, no, okay. I am very happy right now with what I have at this moment. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, like you never say, Categorically, never. But, okay. You know, there has to be some other things we have to worry about more than just the coaches. And, and I think, given preclusions in the franchise agreements, that when we first started having the conversation, they came to light later. And the fact that, uh, quite frankly, the AJHL president and governors do not want to be seen as a farm system to the Western Hockey League. It's a different choice for junior hockey. Okay. They don't want to be seen as a farm or feeder system. They don't want to be seen as second rate, nor should they. Mm -hmm. It's people, it's kids that are making choices to go a different direction. So it's important that we understand that what we're talking about is the Oilers have said they open an invitation for us to every once in a while have a chat, mm -hmm. uh, have some dialogue if we want to bounce an idea. It's not that they're going to be in a uh, running the team, okay. uh, you know, driving our decision making, anything like that. They open their door to say if you want to make a phone call of us anytime, make a phone call. And, but that's great too. I mean, what Jeff was saying because. Mm -hmm. Their marketing people have much more experience in things that have worked sure. and maybe some great ideas. And I'm sure a lot of things that they've tried that haven't worked that and are the, probably uh, just and, as And the smart. funny thing Jeff brought up there was that, and I agree, the AGHL does not want to play second fiddle to anybody. Mm -hmm. But, you know what, I was in minor pro. And you know what, the concept really does work. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not saying we're not. There are players that are never going to be Alberta Junior League players because the education, they're not going to be scholastic kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. They need to go where they need to go. Mm -hmm. But there are going to be kids that will, might want to come here and you can use this system to work to your advantage too. Okay. 
All right, well, we have to take another break, but we are going to let you know that if you do have a question or a comment, please email us. We want to hear from you. You can email us at thegloveseareoff at newcap.ca, but stay tuned because when we return, we're going to get to You Asked For It, which is a chat where we've had an awful lot of dialogue going on various social media networks, and we're going to answer and address some of the questions and comments that you have made so far.